Oh, hello friends. Welcome to the stream today. I see that I'm not muted when I started the stream today, but maybe I have, do I have lettuce in my teeth? I did have a salad for lunch. Sometimes that happens. How are you all? And thank you uh, in advance to the subscribers who I reached out to via Discord who are going to play some games on stream with me today. Note, those games will be in the second half of today's gong show. Uh, not the first half. I am a bit quiet though. All right, let's see if Windows changed my sound levels. Thank you for letting me know. You have returned. It likes, yes, it sure did. I should be right about here. Sorry about that again, y'all. There's got to be a Windows setting where I can make Windows not change my sound levels all the time. Like, I didn't restart the PC or anything. It just has a mind of its own. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great day today. That's what the shirt says. That's what we're here for. Fate photo. Thank you, year and a half. Uh, Subversary. Thank you. Welcome. Disneyland was really fun, Corgi. We had a good time. Little man had a real good time, and it was nice. I just kind of like de-social media for the day for the most part and had a good uh, had a good time. You think there's an app called Master Volume? Thank you. I'll look into it, Chris the Brit. But today, we are here for indie games. Now, a couple of the indie games I wanted to show off on today's gong show are multiplayer only, so I have kindly enlisted both my husband uh, and some subs, because subs always get first priority to play multiplayer games on stream, uh, and some subs to help me out today, so thank you. But today's a gong show day, meaning uh, that we get to play some indie games. And you guys get to vote whether you think they're awesome as is and I should keep playing or whether maybe they're not for you, need a little more time in the oven, give some constructive feedback, and we'll move on to the next game of the episode. Edwin! You said, haven't been here in a while. Missed watching the gong show. Welcome back, Edwin. Good to see you. Thank you for being here today. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Thank you. You can use, come on, uh, let's see, command gong. Command gong vote, or it looks like now just command vote works as well. Uh, so get that out there, guys. If you don't know how to vote in the gong show, that's how it works. All right. Let me get our first game ready to go. All right. All ready in. Your first gong show in a while due to work. Hyped for some bare butt boxing. You know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. But not first. The first up game is not bare butt boxing. I love the title. I love the title. All right, let me see. There we go. I got it ready to go. Our first game that we're going to feature today is called Jected Rivals. Ooh, look at this intro already. This game is uh, free to play on Steam right now. It's developed by Pow Wow Entertainment. And the game's Twitter is just over here. Published by THQ Nordic. So it's currently in early access as of May 4th of this year. It's expected to fully release sometime in the next four to eight months. Um, and it's available right now on PC. I see the volume is okay. I was like, is the volume too loud for you guys? But it looks pretty good. Uh, here's what I know about it so far. Dive right into the crazy mix of extreme sports, vehicular destruction, and breakneck speeds in a winner-takes-all elimination tournament between 18 players. Master the unique ejection mechanic, allowing you to take to the skies to leave your rivals in the rear view. There's various types of race modes, such as crash derby and head-on gliders, um, multiple types of vehicles and playable characters to choose from, arcade-style racing focusing in on extreme destruction and chaos. All right, so... The voting is now open, now that you know a little bit about it. All right. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to pick up a controller because it's driving, so I'm assuming that that's what they want us to go with. I mean, I love the colors and the look of it so far. This game must have three X's in extreme. Totally. Connecting us to the festival area. Okay. Got some music to jam out to. Okay. This is my little car. I'm gonna drive to join the show. Praise the sun. Woo! I'm just looking around right now before we join the show. See how it is. Old Man Wiki, welcome back. Oh, what's that? Oh, I can just break through them? Alright, I guess this maybe is just practice. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be using the other, uh, 
trigger I, or the other um, analog stick, I guess, that changes the camera, but it's a little... Ooh, look at that. How fun. Old man wiki, you gifted a sub. Thank you. Oh boy. That's what happens. Oh, but I got some sweet, sweet points for that flip. I mean, my car door's about to fall off. How do I fix my car? I don't know. Maybe I should... Oh, hello. Maybe I just should have gone to join the show. What's going on with my poor door? It's so broken. Okay. I'm going to turn around. Sweet flippage. I know, we gotta duct tape that door on for sure. Um, yes, Net God, thank you for the bits. Old Man Wiki gifted five community subs. Thank you, Old Man Wiki, very kind of you. Thank you for helping to grow the community. Now let's join the show and see what we can do. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Play, select the game mode, get new packs, extend your garage with new content or community. Let's play the game. Okay, we do have options here. Play, play the game? Okay, solo. There will be a squad mode coming soon, it says. There, If there is a duct tape, tape option and it mods the car, I'm buying it immediately, says Baron52. Well, it's free to play on Steam, so you can buy it immediately for free. Here we go. Oh, I'm still searching for a show, I guess. Back to the hub. It says, enter the show. Enter the show, press menu to start. Oh, and look at this. Rivals, it looks like there's a couple people we could be. It. Oh, it moves so fast, but I love her outfit. She looks so comfy. It up. Or Roberto. Oh, I should have picked the girl, that's all right. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Here we go. Compete against other players on a series of challenging game modes. Each points, earn points each round to survive until the final round and stay on top to win the show. So it feels a little bit like Fall Guys, but driving. We'll see if that's accurate once we get into it. Hi, my face. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We got a little bit of time while we match up. But yeah, today the games we're going to play, just in case you're curious, are Ejected Rivals, which we're playing right now, Mia and the Dragon Princess, Castle of Alchemists, we're going to revisit that game. We played it before, uh, I believe, on Game Round, but now uh, that it's actually coming out into Early Access, we're checking it out again to see how it's developed. Bare Butt Boxing is going to happen. So is Spark Defense. So is a game called Awkward 2, uh, which is like a Jackbox game. Uh, it's a Jackbox game, but full of awkward questions. It's described as like Jackbox meets Cards Against Humanity. So that's where the awkward came, comes into the title, is for the last game. It'll make more sense when we get there. And Bare Butt Boxing could be awkward too. So, uh-oh, welcome to the Jackbox. Ejected rival show is taken a bit. Yes, I just answered your question. Yeah, bare butt boxing could be awkward, so could the game awkward too. <laughs> the game awkward too is supposed to be very awkward. All right, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the ejected rival show because it doesn't look like. Yeah, maybe not fully naked, just bare butts. Exactly. Maybe they're just Donald Duck in it. I have no idea. All right, Jacked Rivals. Maybe we uh, won't get to see what you're all about. Yeah. I'm wondering if not a lot of people are playing, too. It is in early access. Although, it was matchmaking for a while before we got to this screen. Loading those 16K graphics. You know, we'll give it a little bit more. 
If not, uh, we'll give this one an honorary gong and move on to the next game of the showcase. Hype train completed level three. Hype, hype. Thank you, everyone, for being amazing. So overall, a positive response so far in the little bit of the game that we've seen. However, it looks like we may not be able to see any more of it because it's just going to be loading forever. I wanted to try it, though. And it doesn't look like, oh, connecting to the festival area. Is it going to back me out? Yeah, okay, it backed, it backed me out. So I do want to see the eject mechanic. So it looks like if I go up here, eject! Oh, wow. Woo! So I guess I can like do cool, I'm trying to get this. I can do cool stuff in the air. I don't know what the point of that is though. Like how do I land? Do I have a parachute or anything? I guess we'll find out if I don't splat. Oh, that's neat. Oh, now I'm on the roof? What? What is happening? Okay. Safe. How, how do I how do I go back through? Let me back in the arena. I don't want to splat the guy. But now that I'm here, oh, I guess I got to go back to my car. Ow! Ow! Sorry, bud. It said why to drive. Oh, okay. I guess I had to go back to where my car was. Oh, but now I'm, I'm no. I don't want to hit all these people. All right, this could be very chaotic. I'm, I'm assuming. Aha! I can make my car magically appear over here. Faith makes a way. Says sort of ridiculous, but funny. I'm just crashing this car. It is definitely ridiculous. I like that you can change your trajectory. Do you ever run out of gas on your little jetpack? Mama watches tell more than just the time. Yeah, they can also tell your car to call. Hey, I got that one. Do I have to like go through this little? Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, look, it's like Fall Guys-y type stuff, but in a car and with a <laughs> my own little jetpack. Like, what do I do here? What happens here? Yeah. <laughs> Human pinball? Ragdoll physics. But that's okay, we're fine. We got right back up. Yeah, this one's... Painting Tentacle says, what's the point of this game? So... The point of this game is that you get to go up against uh, other players in challenges to see who can get the most points, and you're eliminated if you don't get the most points. Um, but we're not actually able to play with other players because there's not enough people playing right now. The ragdoll physics get me. But this is free to play on Steam, so if you've got a bunch of friends and you want to, like, jump on and check it out, you could. I'm gonna get my car here. Let's see if I can make it. Go, go, go. Whoa, and now we're upside down. And I crashed my car. So I'm not so good at this game yet, y'all, but. What happens if my car gets hit by this? Oh, yeah. What happens if I destroy my car? You can respawn. Have I lost a tire? I think I I might have. Oh no, those are those tires. Uh my car's in pretty bad shape, but I can eject myself. I feel snackish. I head over to the donut stand. It's not a donut corn. Mariella's crop is more cultivated than that. 
and get these things, at least in this mode. But yeah, so there's like all these obstacles and stuff you'd have to do, but against other people. But we didn't have enough other people to check it out. But I mean, there's certainly a lot to do in here. It's very, it's a very interesting concept. It's a bonus convertible! How I've restyled my car. You're absolutely right, Tiny. Wee. So, like, what happens if I leave the arena? Oh, there's more out there. I guess that's where I was before. And it doesn't look like you run out of juice for your little jet pack. Okay. Interesting. It's very interesting. I'm gonna land us here. I feel like it's not a full demo of the game, but even with what we have seen objected rivals so far today, it's got a favorable reception, but we'll put a pin in it for the moment. Uh, but it is, like I said, free to play on Steam if you want to check it out. But for right now, Ejected Rivals gets an honorary gong show gong. There it is. Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends who are here today. That was the first game of our showcase. Um, and let me fire up our next one. Ooh, our next one is from a dev that we saw featured just last week. Just Or was it last week? Last gong show. I don't remember if that was last week or not. But let me get it started up. If you remember, if y'all remember Whales Interactive that did 10 dates from the same folks. But new game. Al, thank you for the resub. Good to see you. Mal SJ says, regarding Jected Rivals, uh, the concept has a lot going for it. It does a lot of potential. All right. Let me now... Change us over to the next one. Here we go. Oh, Peltster redeemed stretch. Thank you, Peltster. Get a little stretch on in here. It's early in the stream for a stretch, but we'll do it anyway. Thank you. I needed that. Here we go. Okay. Stretch redeemed and back in. Ridian says, shout out to Wales Interactive, my people, but Eertle is not fondly remembering 10 dates. I know, it was like really awkward dates. As was, was the subtext for me on that one. All right, so here we go. And the next one, Mia and the Dragon Princess is the name of this game, developed by Wales Interactive and Dead Pixel Productions and Good Gate Media, published by Wales Interactive. Now, it just launched May 4th, on PC, Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, iOS, and Android. So it's available pretty much everywhere, uh, except for Switch. It is a live action, interactive action movie following Mia, a plucky barmaid whose life is thrown into chaos when a mysterious woman turns up at her workplace on the run from a group of violent thugs and unable to speak English. It's rated M for frequent violence and gore and general mature content. Features the real-time attribute tracking that evolves based on your choices throughout the story, and it has 10 different endings. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And here comes the voting, by the way. Voting is now active. Yeah, I'm all for 10 different endings. Our story starts hundreds of years ago when the only daughter of an 18th century aristocratic family who was betrothed to Javanese royalty renounced everything. Her title, her riches, much to her family's displeasure, she was Marchanda Damayanti, the princess pirate. Oh. Chained and unfettered, plundering the South China Sea, where she formed a new family, 
A loyal crew of women she saved from the shackles of servitude or titan. It was on the high seas she forged a friendship with the notorious pirate Red Cat Morgan. Together they ruled the waves, becoming each other's only true ally. But their past was never far behind. Victims of their ravage, hell-bent on tracking them down, wanting retribution in blood. This was not what I expected, how I expected this game to open when either. I thought it was going to have live action actors. In, Marshanda entrusted her share of the riches to Red, who in turn gave her a wrist device that would lead her back to Red and the treasure. She then headed towards the frozen waters of the Antarctic, so desperate to escape that she went somewhere no one would dare follow. But tragically, her ship was lost to the ice. Lost for hundreds of years. Until now. Until now. Is this where we go to live action? I don't know. Yes, okay. <gasps> okay, so she's in a hospital gown. Who's she escaping from? That dude. Tynique says, sir, I was promised a dragon. I know, me too. It is an exciting intro. <laughs> Go the other way, sir. Yeah. Good hiding spot. Okay, and that's supposed to be pointing her to the red-headed pirate, right? And the treasure? That's what we learned? Oh, fancy party. Ma'am, you're underdressed. delicious though okay this is a disaster this restaurant needs better security <laughs> Amazing. Yes, this is an action movie game with 10 different endings. We haven't gotten to the part yet where we get to make choices, but. Mia and the Dragon Princess. All of that was just the intro. Oh boy. Oh, the Dragon Princess was the name of that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Just toilets is blocked again, and I've got a big meeting with this finance tosser Collins. He's in the bar waiting right now, and the timing's terrible. You know, sometimes I think it's a sign. You know, sometimes I think you want me to lose this bar. Hmm? I can't 
can't afford to get covered in feces. I'm gonna get Eddie to do it. Eddie? I can't. Wait, Eddie so you're asking her to do it? To Wait, okay. He's a liar. We're gonna help him. We're gonna help him. Fine. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, just, we get a gong show win just as we get our first choice and we start to see what the stats look like in this game. I am going to see there is a streamer mode and I'm going to turn it on right now so we can pause our choices because that popped up really fast and I want you guys to be able to see it. Um, but huge congratulations to Wales Interactive on your gong show win today, which means that we're going to uh, play this for another five to ten. So you'll get to see some more on it. Okay. So yes. Uh, it looks like our stats up here at the top are compassion, intelligence, bravery, responsibility, and knowledge. Since I said yes, we would help him, our responsibility line went up here a little bit. Oh, I love the way you unlock a toilet. Gross. That's a weird thing to say to somebody. Oh, she found a taser out back. So Mia's not the name of the pirate chick we just saw. <laughs> oh! Sorry, Mia's sorry. that girl. She just accidentally tased the pirate chick. Whoops. Who oh, I, uh, I, 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 I don't speak English. Can you speak English? You're hiding from someone, is that it? It's going to be okay. Okay, she learned thumbs up. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Have you seen a woman run through this way just now? Lady in a medical gown? Yes. She's very dangerous. Help the No, we're gonna help the woman. Come on. There's no game if we help the police. Yeah, she shoved me and went that way. Are you okay? I'm fine. She's a little shaken the back of my arm, but it's fine. She just left. You might still be able to catch her. Thank you. Thank you. That was so exciting. I've never lied to the police before. Oh crap. Are you an escape killer on a violent rampage? Now you ask that question. Let's just get you inside. Hey, th there's food inside. Uh, food? Be kind or be assertive? Um, I mean, let's be kind. I, or maybe be assertive. I don't know. Chat, kind or assertive? Which way are we going with this? I feel like if we went assertive, since she's like a pirate princess, she might really respect that. But she does seem like, you know, she's out of sorts. She doesn't understand anything. So maybe kind is good. She does like spring rolls. Hopefully we have those. Assert kindness, says Vidana. I like that too. We're going to go kind, only because we don't really have a relationship yet. We'll show our assertiveness later. I have an idea. Here, take this. Catch. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, that wait. wasn't kind. We oh, threw candy at her. Good, good. Mmm, mmm, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Ew. I already got in trouble once for bringing a home this guy. He didn't do anything. The skid maybe promised it. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Let's get you out of sight and we'll sit in bed and then decide what to do with you, okay? Can you hide? Um, hide. You hide? Lindley. Nindali? Hide, yeah. Hide. I call Nindali. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that. Good. Okay. Okay. Time to distract Eddie. Oh, a lively hen party. This is so British. Be subtle. Or we're going to be subtle. Be subtle. Skip seeing the fixed toilets. Oh, what? No, I said you should do it. What? I don't think so. Here, hop to it. Off you drop. I can't believe it. And don't forget to wash your hands this time. Gross. Sick 
Wait, what? I don't want you. Oh, we could be best friends. Oh no. Oh no, this is a disaster. No, what are they doing? Wow, this is a, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. She's trying to find her friend and her friend's treasure. Is she like from a different time? Oh yeah, look at this. A picture of her and her friend. Examine the painting. We probably should have chosen hide the woman, but I wanna I wanna solve the the mystery. Yeah, I like it too. Skip's great, great. Great, great, great. Great, great, great grandfather had a commission or something. I'm not really sure. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, we get a person. Gunshot wound to the hand. You're right, Benny. Mia, can I drop a leaf for another? Yeah, of course. Uh, hey, how sick are you going? Oh, you know. Another day on the right side of the grass, and oh, look, they let me keep the watch. Very nice, fair dues. Uh, hey, the usual? Oh, yes, please. That didn't make me something called Discharge of the Light Brigade. Oh. No worries, leave with me. I mean, that's gunshot to the hand, and then you're on sick leave. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Oh, I fucking put up. Armed robbery, ancient pirate body stolen from something. At first I thought it said pirate booty, but it didn't. It said pirate body. She's just using a first aid kit to do this? Hmm. Yeah, right, okay. This is gonna Quick suck. or slow? Yeah. I don't know which is better. I, can we, like, YouTube a video on how to remove taser things? As, a lot of people say quick, okay? All right. Something a little less conspicuous. Looks good. Oh, that's less conspicuous? Let's see. With glow sticks that are shaped like wieners? Oh, Very inconspicuous. This is ridiculous. Hey, hey! Ready yourselves for another delightful concoction from London's greatest mixologist. I call this one Sukut and Jello, Angel Cheese. Welcome, explorers, Ridiculous. to the Smuggler's Tavern, the Pirate's Private Party Palace. This is the most historically infamous sordid den of villainy and underworld chicanery that ever was in old London town. And it's here our walking tour of London shall pause for refreshments and use of the facilities. Mine's a Brandy Alexander, if anyone's buying. <laughs> no? No. Okay, so it seems like not a great tour, but no. maybe we're about to get a little more history into this place called the Dragon Princess. And I feel like they're giving us, like, like this introduction to this person right here. They're starting to give us introductions to this person, Benny. Maybe we're, like, assembling the new Lady Pirate crew in the common, like, in the, in the modern days. I don't know. If you want to solve the mystery of me and the Dragon Princess on your own, it did just come out May 4th. 
And like I said, it's available for PC, Mac, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and iOS and Android. So many different ways to uh, to check this one out if you'd like. Um, congrats to Mia and the Dragon Princess on your gong show win today. Huzzah. That one was interesting. All right. Now, then also, you know what? Right before we do that, P.S., We've got a story tree, an audio tour, settings, and resume a new game as well. So checking out the story. I just want to see the story tree. So here we go. If we didn't help the woman, we would have gone up here. So it kind of has like a Ch Detroit Become Human-esque story tree with different ways the, uh, the narrative can go. Very cool. Very cool. I dig it. I dig it. All right. So we're going to get out of that for right now. But well done. Well done. All right. The next game we're going to play today is one that we featured uh, way back before it was even in early access when it was uh, part of a game round play test. But now this game is about to launch into early access tomorrow. So let's see what has come of it since then. Uh, Rob says you 100% would watch a Netflix adaptation of that. <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's see let me get this next one ready okay the next game that we're featuring on the gong to show today like i said was featured in january in one of its earlier forms but now it's about to launch into early access tomorrow this is castle of alchemists um and it's developed by Team Machiavelli, published by Catoptric Games and Indie Arc. And uh, the full release of this game will be ideally before the end of 2023. Defend your castle in this fast-paced tower defense slash action hybrid game with stunning pixel art graphics. Play as alchemically enhanced warrior Bellator. Set traps, build towers, craft powerful weapons, and defend your home. The fate of the castle lies in your hand hands now i remember when we played this before this game being very difficult so i don't know if it'll be a little bit more balanced if there'll be different things we can do with it um but i will say that team machiavelli uh was kind enough team machiavelli and catopter games and indie arc were kind enough to partner with the channel for this feature today so with that being said if you want to check out the game i'm going to give you a custom link to check it out with and if you do check it out via that link or even just click that link in general and open a new tab with that link every click of that link helps the channel so please go ahead and let them know that you found out about castle of alchemists here okay let's give it a go i'm gonna start the voting now castle of alchemists a safe haven for scholars, engineers, philosophers, and people of science shunned by their society. Nigh impenetrable, it protects its inhabitants from outside forces. But this attack came from within. Unknown invaders swarmed from portals within the castle before we could act, triggering the castle's defensive mechanism and trapping us all together. As Legio Ferrata, army of the castle, we responded swiftly. However, we lost contact with anyone, something, something, something. Locate and retrieve our most valuable asset, Bellator de Alchemia. First of his kind, an alchemically enhanced soldier of the Legion. His mutation cycle is not yet complete. However, we have no chance, but no choice but to awaken him, for he is our only hope to retake the castle. We play as that guy. I don't know if that's going to help bring any memory bells for you. Mr. Bones, we've been through two games so far today. We checked out Jected Rivals and Mia and the Dragon Princess. Right now we're checking out Castle of Alchemists by Team Machiavelli. Okay, I'm going to try, try Controller. Although I don't know. You know what? I don't think it's meant for Controller because it's only giving me Keyboard. Uh, and I don't know how I'll use my hot bar at the bottom. So I am going to listen and just keyboard mouse it. So that's how I dash. We're like this fight fighter guy. 
Well, they want me to go that way, but not into the torch. Got it. E. Uh, I don't know what that did. I made a little, little green version of myself. Maybe that was healing or something. Q. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, and then A and space. Oh, I do have to use the mouse. Okay. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, and tab is my melee. Or tab switches me between the two. Okay, tab switches me between melee and ranged, it seems. Okay, and then one and two lets me use one. Oh. My abilities that do look like they have a cooldown. I'm gonna try the second ability now. Oh, is that like a, oh, okay. Rains fire from above. Neat. Did it hurt them at all? I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's knives. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna try one this time. Uh, I think this was my problem last time is I was a little unclear on how everything works. Edwin, maybe you did miss it the first time around. Commander, we need to defend this position to secure our retreat to the base. No more than 15 of enemies should pass this position. So here's where the tower defense part of it comes in. These are the available resources. Resources replenish each wave depending on your success. These are the defensive structures you can build. You can enter cell mode by holding down the left shift key. You can construct powerful towers in elevated positions like this by clicking on the tower button on the statue. You can check the type of enemies that will come in in the info panel to the side, as well as their route on the minimap. Click here when you're ready to start the, f the wave. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So it looks like we've only got this one guy, a footman wielding two-handed sword, weak to fire, resistant to, is that ranged maybe? It's either fire or maybe ice or something. All right, so let's see what we've got. A spike trap and a barricade. So if I want to conserve resources here, so if I put a barricade right there and then a spike trap right there, they have to go over the spike trap. And I want to keep them from getting where? They're going to go over the spike trap. I still have 440 more iron. Yeah, I want to keep them from getting here. Don't get in there. That would be bad. Um, let's do maybe, can I do, can I rotate this and do two spike traps maybe? Q, does Q rotate it? No. Scroll wheel. No. Because I'm like, if I could put another one, a couple more, like here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that so I can do another spike trap right there. So they have to go through two. So hopefully they'll get hit by at least one of them. And then three, because they'll have to go there too. Yeah, so they're only going to hit that third one a little unless I barricade that out a little more. Um, and can I build a tower up here? They did tell me to build a tower, but I'm not sure. A ballista tower. Okay. Great. So that should be able to uh, shoot guys there. So we're thinking. We're doing a lot of thinking, and then we'll let it go. But hopefully between these two things and then I think if I remember correctly, I come down from like this part and can help fend them off as well. Like our, our big, big dude. 
Um, I'm wondering if there's any reason I should try to divert them to up here. Because it looks like that guy can shoot from there. But I don't know if that's what we want. I don't know if that's the right move or not. Um, let's just see what happens if we did put... All right, we don't have enough to put that there now. No? Cell mode? Cell mode? It did say I could enter cell mode by using my right click, but it's not, I'm not right doing that necessarily. Um, okay, I guess we'll just leave it at that and see how we do. Uh, and what did it say? I have to click to start E. Maybe. Let's see. Next wave is N. There we go. Okay. Here comes my guy. So here they come. Now, last time I got overwhelmed really fast. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is not it. What? Why did I go back there? Q takes me all the way back there? Oh, or I guess I died. Okay, so I'm dying just as fast as I did last time. Yep. Alright, we're gonna retry. Oof, indeed. We okay, let's see if we missed anything. We need to defend this position to secure our retreat to the base. No more than 15 enemies should pass the position. These are the available resources. Resources replenish each wave depending on your success. These are the defensive structures you can build. A spike trap and a barricade. You can enter cell mode by holding down the left shift key. Okay, left shift. Is that? So look at how, I'm trying to look at how they're doing it. Okay. You can construct powerful towers in elevated positions like this by clicking on the tower button on the statue. You can check the type of enemies that will come in their info panel as well as their route on the minimap. Click here when you're ready to start the next wave. Good luck, Commander. Okay. All right, let's try it again. So I am going to construct this. That takes up a lot of my, uh, a lot of my building resources already. 35 versus, oh, the barricade's 25. Maybe I should just, I don't know. This is the skinniest part, so I feel like that's the part. Or maybe I should do, while they're here, okay, I can't do it. Maybe I can do one, two, three. So that they get hit here and by this when they're stopped at this barricade. And then I'll stand here and try to clobber them when they get through that. Alright, I still have 95 resources left. So, I could do also... Um, I could do three more spike traps with 95. They have to come down the steps. So one, two. I would put it right here, but I can't do it on the bridge. Yeah, this game is making us think zero Fs. It's true. So many spikes and so many walls. Now, are they going to go around the trap? Are they smart enough to go around the trap? I guess they're not. Well, if they're not, then I'm just going to put as many of them there as I can. And I guess I'll block that. Okay. Let's see if this fares any better. And I will also shoot at them from here. Okay, here they come. Okay, well, 
this is doing better than that. Oh, they just broke through. Nope. One and two. One and two. We can't use any of that. Oh, those are just traps. That is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna throw another thing there. E. Does that let me do anything? Tab. Use this on them. Okay, melee, 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 melee. Okay, I passed wave one. I, I passed wave one that time. That's good. That's an improvement over last time. Decisive victory. Continue. Melee does seem a lot more effective. I agree. Welcome back, Commander. Our group successfully secured the Iron Legion barracks at the Outer Rim and have established it as our small base of operations. All right, again, folks, I'm putting the link in chat. If you don't mind clicking that link to let them know you found out about Castle of Alchemists here, that greatly helps out the channel. Thank you, Team Machiavelli, for partnering with the channel for today's stream. Okay. You may find me in the war room, Commander. Let me know when you're prepared and we can choose our next steps. Master Jurian at the Armamentarium <laughs> would like to speak with you, Commander. It's recommended that you go and see what he needs. Okay. Hello, Commander. Glad to see you in one piece. I am Master Jurian, Headmaster responsible for your mutation cycle. We dedicated this chamber to your personalized needs for mutations, combat training, and gear. Aha. Here, you can review the details and select your mutations or combat training. Great. You can equip your combat gear from here, okay, from the armory. There's a limit on how much weight you can carry. You can check your carrying capacity here, okay? Unfortunately, we currently don't have anyone who can craft experimental gear for you. If we manage to rescue someone with the necessary skills, you'll be able to craft your own weapons and gear in this room. Commander, welcome to the war room. I am here to help you plan and prepare for attacks against the enemy. Here, you choose a level and begin a mission and view the relevant information about it. For the moment, our access is limited to the entrance of the castle from the outer rims. As we advance, new areas will become available to us. Here, you can review your trap and equipment loadout for the mission. Trap loadout, equipment loadout, got it. However, as we currently do not have anyone to operate the workshop or craft items, our options are limited. Our primary objective is to rescue Trapsmith Master Uzelman, as her expertise will, will allow us to construct more advanced defensive measures. Okay. Deploy to level. Um, we've got the spike traps and the barricades. We've got my blast hammer and my blunderbuss. Yeah, my hammer. Actually, the blunderbuss does more damage, but I guess it's much harder to hit. I don't know. My skill loadout, I do have an explosive flask as well as a mechanical trap. Leaves a shrapnel shower when triggered. I also have a shoulder cannon. That's really good so far. But uh, it can only be used once per wave. And a healing syringe. Okay, so that is healing. Good to know. Makes more sense now that we're here. Let's go ahead and deploy to the level. And folks, you do have just a few minutes more to get your vote in through this last level. We'll see how it goes. So, this time we've got two guys, an Arctic Raider weak to fire and an Arctic Swordsman. Um, so Arctic Raider runs at a moderate speed and they're both, yeah, they're Arctic, so they're resist to cold, weak to hot, okay? It'd be really nice if I had some like heat weapons to go with them with. Now I don't see anything higher up here where I could build like a tower or anything. Um, I guess if I force them to go up the steps, maybe I could trap them in a room or something. Let's just see what that would look like. Would they go upstairs or would they just, no, they would just beat up on my wall, I guess. Yeah, they just beat up on my wall. They wouldn't go up there. I'm like, it'd be really cool if they did, though. They defeat these barricades so fast. Okay, let's try... I 
I mean, I'm just going to try to get him on as many spike traps as I can and see how that goes. I could only put one more if I wanted to. Okay. Looks like they're going to try to go under it, though. I don't know if this strategy is going to work. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to try higher ground here and see if I can get them like this. Yeah, come at me. Uh-oh. They came at me. They came at me. Nope, and I'm dead. Wow, that was so fast. Yeah, that was a disaster. That was not a win. I got my booty handed to me. How do I get myself back? Oh, there we go. Okay. Did I, did I win? Nope. I failed. I failed. All right, folks. This has been Castle of Alchemist, the second time it's been featured on the Gong Show, as it now is launching into early access tomorrow from Team Machiavelli. If you want to play this for yourself, please go ahead and check out the game via the link I just put in chat because they were kind enough to partner with the channel for this feature today. So please feel free to check them out there. All right. The next game I have is one that I am going to enlist the help of Husbando as well as uh, a lovely community member. Um, and that game is called Bear Butt Boxing. I know a lot of you were really looking forward to it. So let me go ahead and get it set up. Okay. I mean, just looking forward to it from the name alone, honestly. Okay, here we go. Let's load it up. <laughs> All right, bare butt boxing. Press any button. All right, before we launch into it, here's what I know about it so far. Uh, bare butt boxing is developed by two Atara games. And it does have its own Twitter handle, at BearButtBoxing. It's currently in early access as of May 4th, but expected to fully release within the next 10 to 12 months. It is going to be available on PC, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. It says fight in completely unregulated alien boxing you bouts play. and knock out players online in Bear Butt Boxing, a chaotic multiplayer brawler with physics-based characters. Each level has their own unique features, hazards, and traps. Fight other players from around the globe with online multiplayer. And there are various game modes available that feature different fighting objectives for replayability. Okay, so let's see. Welcome to the early access. We've added bots and other features. Uh, let's just look at what we can customize. Fishy. Oh, I could buy for in-game currency. I currently have no in-game currency, so I guess I'm playing as this person. Some selected items were not purchased yet. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Let's look at my options here. Rumble is on. Music is good. We're jamming out. That all looks good. Uh, can I play via controller? I can. Looks like left punch, right punch, dash, and jump. Okay, I mean, uh, so local play is not an option, so we're going to go online play. It does say matchmaking. I don't know if anybody else uh, wants to jump in for some matchmaking. I think we just all have to... Uh... Yep, you just tuned in and we're starting with Bearbutt Boxing. Okay, so it looks like there's some bots in with me right now. Let's see if anyone else joins up. Oh, there's Nate. Hey, Nate. Okay, so I'm looking that oh here's my punching oh you can punch people into the can I grab people so I guess I'm supposed to maybe punch them into this vortex yeah okay I scored on that guy what is oh I have a I have a potted plant I have a potted plant 
that I just threw at that guy, yet somehow I got caught on fire? And I'm dying from fire? How do I put out the fire? No! Oh, I have, like, no life left, but I did get... Oh, it sounds like Nate just died. And Beardtastic Yogi just did dun-dun-dun! Okay, I'm electrocuting some people. Nate included. Someone just fell in there? It is, it's definitely chaos. I see the voting's not up, that's what you guys are telling me. And we're getting a raid right now. It's, it's so much chaos. So the voting is now live for Bear Butt Boxing. How do I throw these things? I don't want, no! I think Nate just kicked my butt. Why am I on fire again? How do I not be on fire? Welcome to the Raiders from Good Day Internet. Sorry you're joining in the middle of some chaos. In the... Oh, who's Germ? Germ25 is in here. This is absolute chaos. We're playing bare butt boxing. No! Germ! <laughs> this is ridiculous! Tech Ninja, you love bare butt boxing in this game too. Okay, I'm gonna go get whatever that gift is. Yeah, gotcha. But I got on fire again. Okay, every time I use that that plant, I get on fire, and I don't know how to put out the fire. Oh, Ridian, I see you in now. Deep. Fat robot butts. These are some fat robot butts. It's true. I like the. Oh. No, no, no! So we're all just trying to get points, I think, until the time's up for the round now. I think that's what's happening. Nope, I want nothing to do with that. Get me out of there. Hey, Radian. Whoa! Oh. Who did that? What was that cool move? It was like some kind of whirlwind or something. I'm trying to get y'all near the... Oh, no, no. No, thank you. Oh, Nate's on fire. I'm on fire. The winner was DPS Lone Wolf as Skelly. Ah, uh, okay. Nate says you can charge your punches if you hold. Any other pro tips you got from that, Nate? Uh, it looks like you're trying to knock them out of the like vortex. It's not. Yes. Like yeah, you're trying to knock them out of the vortexes. I would agree with that. All right. So this level is a new level. Ridian says I just got beat up by Nate. <laughs> Get this. So Skelly. Oh. Is is that how you get fire punches? Just by holding them up or something? I don't know why my character's blue and see-through. I don't know if that was like a choice I made for myself. Or. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, did I just kick? Oh, but now I'm now I'm on fire. It hurt me. Ah! I fell down a hole! Not great. Not great. Okay, let's see if I get... Oh, I can... Oh, I see. I'm trying... Ridian, I'm trying to get you with this plant! No, I'm no. gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! No! I got caught. No. Ah! Nate's screams are giving me life. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I got, oh, I got. Yeah, how did that pull everybody in? Did like, is there like a time thing, or did someone get a power up that allows that to happen? Yeah, gotcha, honey. No, nope. get out of there. So I did get 34 coins in that last match, though, which makes me. Uh, Excited to see what new cosmetics I can get. Nate, you get away from me. Yeah, it's all about the uh, the powered up punches. That's what I'm learning. Oh no. Oh no. You electrocute yourself, sir. But once you've got a powered up punch, you can't uh, turn it, right? You can't redirect it? Okay. This is a silly and fun game. Guys, I don't, I'm sorry. It's been so chaotic. Thank you, Good Day Internet, for the raid. For those of you who don't already follow Good Day Internet, they're the home of the Daily Tech News Show and some wonderful people. Please go ahead and give them a follow. Yeah. 
And let's, we'll get a shout out to them in chat. And thank you for bringing your raiders here. That's very kind of you. Yeah! No! DPS, lone wolf. Take my butt. Oh, and I fell into a hole. Ah! Oh, now I'm facing the wrong way. 12, 11 seconds left! Yeah, I got somebody right there. Nice! <laughs> Griff 145! I don't understand why my character's all blue either. Next round in 10 seconds. I'm going to, uh, can I, can I do, I, it doesn't look like I can do, uh, aesthetic changes from here. So I'm actually gonna back out real quick and customize a little. Cause I can buy fishy or a skin or gloves. Some items were not purchased yet. No, I don't want to leave. I want to I wanna see what I can buy. Oh. There are none to buy. Uh, why can't I buy more things? I have coins. Let me buy the things. I don't know. It's not letting me buy the things that I can see. I tried. All right, I can't buy the things apparently, but I'm gonna go back into play. See if they let me back in. Warbenecker, welcome. Okay, I'm back in. Oh man, there's this whole river in the middle. I do like that you can just drop in and out anytime. That's kind of nice. Go for a swim, friends. No! Why didn't my super punch work? Stinker! Ah! Come here, Nate. No! 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 I don't want it! <laughs> ah! It is never ending chaos. I could say this being a fun stream game with friends, though. Like, Lasercorn always really likes these kind of games. Ooh, Germ trying to punch me into my own trap. Rude. No! Get in there. Oh! So maybe the fire means that you're like currently winning for the round. I don't know. And you only and you get like extra damage for a short period of time or something. Ridian just took me out. <laughs> oh, no. no! Oh, that thing like what? That was like a force. No! It what? What thing does what now? There's like one of those specials that powers the force and like sucks you down. Yeah. going on over here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah! I mean, everybody's oh, no, no, got... No. DPS just took you out. No, no. Go there. Everyone's over here fighting. No! Rough. Rough! Match ended. DPS Lone Wolf again with the uh, <laughs> with the win. Hey, I made the metal toast. Doctor, welcome. No, I got. I'm the wor I got sixth place this time. Nate's doing okay. I got sixth place this time. I'm painfully I'm losing. Late. Doctor, that's right. I'm coming late. Doctor, welcome to the stream. Every Tuesday, I cover a bunch of indie games, so there's a good chance you'll see games you've never seen before on my channel. That's kind of how we roll here. Trying to help you find something new and fun to play. Alright, Germ. Get out of there. Nate? Nate? Oh, you ah! stinker. Oh, oh, you stinker. No, again? 
rude. There's not a lot of walking spot in this, uh, not a lot of safe areas here. Oh, no! Okay, I'm gonna try. No, 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 nope. Yeah, I'm trying to... No, don't you dare. I'm going to get... Ah, oh, I missed it. I wanted to get the power up, and I didn't get it. Yeah, this middle area is very dangerous. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, no. Yeah, I'm not a fan of my, like, iridescent blue. Are you iridescent blue on your screen, Nate? Weird. I would love to change that. No. All right, and that sounds like a gong show win for bare butt boxing. This absolute chaos driven <laughs> multiplayer brawler. Congrats to Bearbutt Box Boxing on your win today. Yeah! So much chaos. No, no, no! Ah, I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 oh, ah. I'm not doing well in this level. Not doing well. So because we have a gong show winner today, we'll keep playing for another couple minutes before moving on to the next game of today's showcase. Ah, oh, stinker. No! Alright. Suck everybody in. Nice. Okay. That's the safe corner. I want to be in the safe corner. Ha <laughs> ha! Poor Germ. Oh, you know what? Germ got revenge. Germ got revenge. <laughs> okay, match ended. Germ was the winner this time. Germ's not messing around. Germ's not messing around. So congrats again to two Atari games on your win. I now have 45 total coins. But yeah, I mean, like I said, this is in early access as of May 4th. So hopefully they'll add some more customization stuff soon. Now it just seems like we're all just randomized. But I can collect some coins up until that point. All right, and this will probably be our last match. So if anyone wants to uh, to join no, no. in that's not already in, feel free. Yeah, you germ. But keep bear butt boxing in mind, as well as Mia and the Dragon Princess, which were both two of our gong show winners today, because at the end of the gong show, we always vote on our favorite game of the day. Oh, I see. Oh, Nate, I see you running down there with the power punch. That's a smart move. No, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. Husband and wife beating up on each other in bear butt boxing. Ah, I got electrocuted. Okay, I'm trying Nate's. Oh, of course there's no one down here now. Except for you! Ah! <laughs> but I took myself out too! I tried, I tried. It was not well no! played. Nope, that was also not well played. And it seems we're getting another raid from Ellie right now. Ellie, thank you for the raid. We're gonna have to do raid balloons for everybody after all this chaos is over. Thank you for the raid. Ellie, please let us know what you were playing today. Let's get a shout out for Ellie Gibson Games in chat. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah, got a point. Okay. Oh man, Germ. Germ, you're, so, you're on fire. So good. Nope, nope, get me away from the portal. Okay, this guy though. Ah, oh, Ridian! Ridian, I thought I had you, but I did not. I'll let out. Oh, here comes Nate. I'm staying out of that. Unless I can get you. 
<laughs> yeah, I wish I knew what the fire mechanic meant. I need a, I need a little bit better instructions on the the fire oh, no. and how long Ow. that lasts. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, Radian. I'm gonna try to get Germ here. Or Griff. Yeah! <laughs> I got a pot! Yeah! Yep, nope, get- Oh, no! No! 25 seconds left. A very serious game of bare butt boxing. Husband? Husband! Yeah! Eat it. Eat it, turkeys. Nope. No, no. No, thank you. I don't want any part of that business. No! Okay. Oh, I won that time! Alright! Folks, this has been Bear Butt Boxing. Huge thanks to Ridian and Nate for jumping in and uh, helping out on our Bear Butt Boxing today. And congratulations to Two Atari Games on your gong show win today. So today, right now on today's gong show, it is between um, Bear Butt Boxing and Mia and the Dragon Princess so far, but we do have other games to check out today as well. Like uh, another multiplayer game. So hang on in there, Nate. We've got... Oh, here, you know what? We also have to do our party balloons for our raiders. So, party balloons for the raiders. Thank you so much to Good Day Internet, as well as Ellie Gibson Games and EGG Raid. You were playing Plague Tale Innocence. I love that game. I love that game so much. Folks, please go ahead. If you like your daily tech news in bite-sized chunks, please go follow Good Day Internet, home of the Daily Tech News Show. And if you want to revisit Plague Tale Innocence, a game you know I love so much, please, please, please return the favor and go give a follow to Ellie. Thank you, guys. Party balloons. Party balloons today. For those of you who are just joining my channel for the first time, hi. My name is Trisha Hirschberger. I normally do tech and video game on-camera hosting work. And on the days that I'm not on set you'll find me here streaming on Twitch. Every Tuesday, I like to do an indie games showcase that I call The Gong Show, and you get to be the voters. Uh, so you guys are the judges. You get to vote whether the game's awesome and I should keep playing it, or whether it maybe needs a little more time in the oven, and in that case, we ring this gong and move on to the next game of the showcase. So it's a fun, interactive way to get to know some new games that you might not have seen before, and also to give some love to indie devs and publishers who may not otherwise have an easy time getting their games out there. So that's how the gong show works in a nutshell. Oh, go to bed. Thank you, Ellie, for trusting your community here. You're amazing. I appreciate it. And yes, definitely a different change from all the rats in Plague Tale. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, so we do have a couple more indie games to feature today. And for anyone who's new to the stream, if you need a, uh, a little bit of instruction on how to vote or how the game show aspect of this works, you can use Command Gong or Command Gong Vote, and it'll tell you all how it works in chat. But basically, you get to vote using emotes. It's really, really easy, and anyone can vote. You don't have to be a sub or anything like that. Okay, let me get our next game ready. Like I said, it is another multiplayer game. And uh, thank you again to our multiplayer helpers who are helping me demo this game, Nate, and some lovely community members. Okay. Ah, uh, Emily says, in summary, Ellie is amazing. Uh, Ellie's being humble as always, but she's appearing on Radio 4 tomorrow morning. Congrats. That's awesome. And Ellie's a Guinness World Record holder for playing Power Wash Sim for 24 hours. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. Was it for charity? That's amazing. That's amazing. Yes, Ellie, you've got a big day tomorrow. Go to bed early. Rest up. Okay. Um, I think we are almost ready for this next one. A new subscriber. Hey, Beardtastic. Thank you for gifting a sub to Ellie. That's very kind of you. And welcome. Welcome, folks. Okay, the next indie game that we are featuring today, like I said, is a multiplayer game, and it's another multiplayer game where they were kind enough to partner with the channel for the feature. So if you want to check this game out for yourself, you can do it via the link that I'm about to put in chat. 
Um, all right, this next game is called Spark Defense. Now, Spark Defense um, is developed and published by Life Force Games. Um, you can find their Twitter handle right over here at Join Life Force. It's a MOBA meets tower defense with hero-driven gameplay. So it, there's an intense adventure of strategy and skill. And let's go ahead and check it out. The voting is now open. Uh, again, if you need instructions on how to vote, you can use Command Gong or Command Vote in chat, and you'll be good to go. Um, does look like I need to sign in. So really quickly, I'm just going to switch right back here so I can come up with a username and password. Um, let's see. Okay. Got it, got it. Uh, 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 typing as fast as I can. Let's hope that's correct. Yes, I'm at least 13. Uh, passwords must have symbol characters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's a game you need to create a username and password to play. <laughs> now I got to check my email. <laughs> Let's hope it comes through quickly. <laughs> All right, one more time. Can I play now? Can I play now? Register my gamer tag. Hilarious. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Oh, now I have to remember what password I made up. Why did you just do the suggested password? It didn't give me a suggested password. All right. All right. I think we're in. I think we are in. Oh, I love hearing all that, Ridian. That's awesome. Okay. Back in the spark defense. Uh, play loadout settings. Let's see. And this is the alpha, by the way, for spark defense. We are looking at the alpha. They do have a discord. Let's just go play. We're just going to jump right in. Uh, quick play or create. Join by key. I'm going to create a key for a private session, uh, which Nate's going to join up with the join key for anyone who's in right now, is lowercase a, lowercase c, six, seven, lowercase d. I like this person that they gave me, Frostea. All right, Nate's in. Nate's in. And I know we have some other friends who might be joining from the community. Turn up. Let's see if we can do a turn, turn up as your name. Uh, turn up. <laughs> It's awesome. I'm going to take that cool too. a cool character. Paladin says joining up. Turn it Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, I like the look of it so far. Nate, your guy looks so angry. He does. But I mean, it's a turn up, so... Does it feel like that? Let me know if you guys can't see the join up key. It's right there. And uh, when I say you guys, I'm specifically referring to some of our lovely Twitch subs. So I always go to our Twitch subs and Discord first whenever there's a chance to play a multiplayer game on stream. Uh, I like to give subs first priority. So we should have today, let me see. Let's see who we got. Yeah, so for the subs who I gave a copy of the game to earlier, maybe we'll just start a level until some more folks come in here, but it should be, should be Paladin and Odyssey Dave should be able to get in. So hopefully you all are able to get in, but right now we're just gonna start right here. Um, starting hero select. Uh, Odyssey Dave says he'll join again. Okay. Aura, barrier, tower, and trap. Are the upgrades the loadout? I'm not. I'm not a great MOBA player. I'm not gonna lie. Starting hero select. I don't think I have a hero select screen. Select my hero. Uh, confirm. This hero, the one that I was given. Is there another one I could select? Odyssey, Dave, you're in traffic. I'm sorry. All 
All right, let's see how it goes. Yeah, Nate's character does look cool. I agree. Turn up. <laughs> so pie. silly. So, so silly. Nope, I've got a cursor though. I got a cursor as well. Okay, Nate and I are both waiting to join. We are cursing. Nate, Nate is raving. Turn up, turn up is having the party of the of their life. <laughs> They're having a real nice time. But yeah, I mean, I don't play a lot of mobas, but I do like tower defense, so I'm very interested to. Uh, to see the hybrid of those two genres in Paladin this, if we can get it to load. Uh, Paladin, your key, uh, oh, the join key? Uh, AC67D, Chris the Brit put it in chat just a little bit earlier. Although I'm not sure if it's gonna let us in. The loading's taking time, so we'll see. We shall see. Hmm? <sighs> Oh, Paladin, it said game closed. Well, let me see what's going on with... I mean, I could. I'm not going to do that right now, but... Hopefully, we don't need to force close and start a new one. We'll see. Maybe it needs more than two people. Maybe that's why. Jeff Empire, it is not up to me to bring source fed back, and I appreciate what all those humans are doing now in their own individual careers. So, it's not a thing that's going to happen. Everybody lives far away now. All right. I think I'm going to try to force close and reattempt it if I can. Maybe it is a thing where we just need to wait a little longer, but. Why didn't nobody get time for that? Yeah, I'm going to, in the interest of keeping the stream moving, I'm going to try to load it up again, and hopefully we can also get Paladin in. So let's see. Okay. Let's try this again. Let me just look at the settings. Gameplay quick cast. I don't know what that is. Uh, graphics are great. That's all good. That should all be fine. Load out. Oh, here. Turn up. Mizell or Bergsworth. This is interesting. Oh, how did you get into that? Uh, I went to load out. If you want to. And then it looks like there's orbs, there's fragments. There's outfits, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go Frostea is who I'd like to be. The refine the Sparkite. Do you wanna refine all your Sparkite in a shards? Cancel. Um, okay, cosmetic selection. I don't see a lot going on yet. Maybe this is all just like alpha, we can't really get into it yet. Hero bio. Frostea is a hero manifested as a frozen construct infused with the qualities of Norse mythology. On missions, she is the cold, calculating leader who always has a plan. She is proud and thrives on her accomplishments, though sometimes prone to bragging over her well-earned fame. Cool. Save loadout, sure. And yeah, I guess we can upgrade and uh, increase our aura, barrier, tower, and trap are her abilities. All right, so saving, yes. And then I guess do I exit to go back here? Yes. Um, I am gonna read this whole thing. Alpha is a three player short sampler of basic game mechanics in a few waves. Players control a hero with four abilities, W, A, S, and D, a primary secondary attack, special attack three, and ultimate four. Players can build four structures that can be upgraded, repaired, or deleted when selected. Turrets, walls, traps, and aura. R, T, F, and G. R, T, F, and G. Okay, great. Um, during combat, you must protect and maintain the central mining rig. If it's destroyed or your hero dies, it's game over. Explore the map each wave to find outposts that will assist in your gaining information around enemies spawning from that area. Complete the primary and secondary objectives to earn victory and additional rewards. All right, so let's try again. Uh, matchmaking, we could all just try quick play this time, maybe, and see if that works. So everybody who has a code, try hitting join quick play. <laughs> I tried to pre create a private room before, and I'm not sure. Hey. Oh, we got two Nates somehow. 
All right. No, I only see one. Oh, you only see one. It looks like two on mine. Uh, select, ah, select your hero loaded correctly this time. Okay, great. Frostea is who I'm going to go with. Nate's selecting a hero. Turn up. Okay, and Pally, is this you over here? Or is it just two Nates on my screen? Do you have, oh, you have LFP Gaming on yours. I do. Yeah, it's showing a little funky on mine. All right. Turn up for what? Great question. Turn up for what? Okay, match starting in a few seconds. Okay, so it looks like we can move around. We want to protect this mining rig. All assets and gameplay are subject to change. I mean, do I need to, like, mine stuff or... These are my friends. Waves. Oh, okay. Our, our friend who's obviously played this before is building lots of stuff. We should probably do that as well. Oh. What are they building? Oh, Defensive wow. structures. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can... Uh, build some defensive structures as well. Let's see. T is our... I've got a frost turret. I mean, turrets are great, but maybe I'll do a wall. Can I rotate it? Yes, I can. Oh, I can't place that there? No? What if I want to, though? How do you build? Uh, you're... Uh -oh. Uh oh Okay, never mind. Not building. Just taking out some dudes. I'm gonna see if I can build, uh... A turret. There's some goodies to grab over here, I guess. Flame aura. Okay, I'm gonna stop building things and... No! Get away from our stuff! Alright, let's see. There's a lot going on here. Is my ultimate ready? Can I use my ult? I don't know if I can. Oh, that looks cool. Hey, turn up. That was cool. Aha! That's a pretty cool ult. Okay, I'm gonna run. What is my... I've been using my primary attack. Oh, my secondary attack's pretty nice. Okay, let's see if I can... Over here, flame aura and damage boost potions are here. It's funny that I'm like the frost hero. Nate, how are you finding your hero? Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, finally can build something. What happened? Yeah. So it's you can see you're building stuff over on the right at the bottom. So before the next wave, we should be able to. Paladin says, well, I just got slaughtered. <laughs> Paladin, are you LFP gaming? Or were you playing with different people? Uh, so we got some experience. We got some Sparkite. Returning to the lobby soon. Sparkite. There is some chat here. I'm going to try another hero next time. <sighs> okay. Starting hero select. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, Nate's Nate's doing it first. I am. Group starting in three. All right. Well, I guess I'm going with the same hero again because I didn't get a chance to choose. Oh, I didn't choose anything either. All right. Paladin says there's a join key that I can try to join. Yeah, that went so fast. I didn't touch anything. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, we might get black screen to death again because we didn't get a chance to uh, choose our heroes. That's how that happened last time, too. Can I exit out in this screen? I don't think I can. All right. I'm going to I'm going to exit out of the uh, the black screen of death and try joining again. Gonna go back in. 
Let's see. Now, remember, this game is in alpha. Uh, so I'm going to try... I'm going to try my Zell on the loadout screen this time and see if I can keep this person. I'm just going to save like that, saving that loadout. My Zell is a hero manifested as corn, infused with the qualities of Mayan mythology. Man, where's laser so corn when you May's need him? Maze L? Ma Maze L? Yeah. Maze L, probably, yeah. Her bright personality is a ray of sunlight that brings out the best in others. Love it. I hope when she gets angry, she like pops. Okay, I'm going into quick play again since that seemed to work better than creating a room last time on the first try at least. Joining quick play. Join quick play. Paladin, see if you can click join quick play right now and get in. Waiting for others. Join key is EE472 if you need it. I don't know, but I don't think you're in my lobby, are you? I'm by myself. I am also. Do you have your own join key? What's your join key? Show join key. 64447. All right. If you leave yours then and try joining up in my room, lowercase ee472. Paladin's in. We'll see if we can get Nate in here. Okay, oh, LFP, code. Uh, lowercase ee472, although LFP gaming just joined, so you might be locked out. Yeah. Okay, Maybe. all right, we're going to try with what we got. Let's see if it works. All right, starting hero select, paladin selecting a hero. We got a Frostea. LFP Gaming is selecting a hero. And select my starting hero. I want to try Maisel this time. All right. And since it gave us the opportunity to choose our heroes, hopefully we'll be able to get in. And get in those votes. This match is the final chance to get in your votes on Spark Defense. And again, folks, if you want to check it out for yourself, please do so via the link I'm putting in chat. Every click on that link helps out the channel. Thank you, Spark Defense, for partnering with the channel today. All right, so I learned my lesson. I am going to create a dart turret uh, right up here. Do I need to rotate it at all? Yeah, I'm going to rotate it to there. And I'm going to create another one that's there. And what else can I make? A spike trap. I'm going to put a spike trap right here. Nice. Do the spike traps hurt you or your companion? I don't know if there's friendly fire or not. That's a great question. And a poison aura. Ooh, let's put that like out there. A little poison aura out there, maybe a little poison aura out here. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm just planting things. My primary attack is to plant things. Do they explode? Maybe if someone gets near them, my corn. Do I have explosive corn? Do you have popcorn? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I do. I pop corn. <laughs> hold on. I put corn all over the ground. Oh my God. And then I can use... Hold on. Wait till they get here. Then I can use that to pop the corn. Yeah. So when you get advanced like skills, is it going to be able to turn into like higher paper? Oh, man. Like diabetes? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Eat it. All right, let's see what my other abilities are. That pops all the corn around me. Looks like my ult is some kind of tree. Oh, I can defend my friends and my stuff. We've got some kind of cool shield. Neato potato. 
More corn. Well, come on, I dare you. Come near my corn garden. Wait, I'm sorry. Our mining rig's under attack. I better go check into that. Who's attacking? Who's attacking our mining rig? Looks pretty good to me. There's some guys over here that... Okay, I hurt them with my popcorn. Pop, pop. Okay. Now I've got that flame aura thing again. Yeah, you really gotta... This is not a reactionary class. You really gotta plan with this one. Got a plan where your popcorn goes. All right, wave one of five complete. All right, well, so now that we've done that. The kernel popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> the popcorn's pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. I like the popcorn a lot. Funny. Just putting turrets everywhere. And my poison auras are pretty good too. A poison aura there, poison aura there. Let's get some. Well, that strategy of like defending your backs up, I guess, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. LFP gaming. Obviously, is someone who worked on this game. Because <laughs> you got this down. You got this down, friend. And the spike traps there are good too. I'm going to put another spike trap right here and right here. Okay, corn, corn, corn. Yeah, the spike trap should take those dudes out. Oh, some life steal over here. I'll take some life steal. Wait, how's our. Oh! How'd they get in over there? No. Rude. Rude. Okay, well they've obviously found a way in there that I didn't anticipate. We're doing okay on this side though. Excuse you. Skelly. Hey Skelly. Eat that popcorn. Really, you have no game music on. Uh no game audio? No, there's game audio. Uh I just turned it way up. It's just a little quiet, I guess. Look at this guy. He's a two-star bad guy. Yeah, those uh, those spiky traps are great. I'm gonna come in through here and see if I can set another the poison aura right like there somewhere. Can I fit any in there? There's all these guys in here. How though? Great effort. I'm gonna do my ult to defend everything. I'm putting lots of corn there. And then popping the corn. Okay, we have two of five complete. Yeah, maybe. Can I put a spiky trap over there somewhere, maybe? Spiky trap. Oh yeah, you got it. Okay. Man, LFP gaming, you're so fast at building. All right, folks. Final moments to get your votes in. I'm gonna put some spiky traps here. Once you pop, you can't stop. That's true.
Yeah! Pop that corn! Alright, let me see what happens if I do that ability. Alright, take them out. More corn, more corn. Uh-oh, I'm seeing a little arrow that's pointing us up here because there's still some baddies up here. Um, I can't get close enough to that top corner to do anything about it, at least right now. What is... Whoa. Oh, that's my wall. Interesting. Can I put I can't put that there now. I can't even get up to that corner to put a trap in it to defend it. So I guess, are there any other spiky traps I can put down here? Anywhere I can put one there. I can put one there. Build out some more right here. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out in here, I think. Three star. Yeah, three star bad guy. We got a three star bad guy. For a second I thought that uh, that that was our raid music, but it's not, it's just epic music in the game. Okay, do I need to defend anything? No friendly fire, it looks like on our own traps and turrets and stuff like that. Okay, we're still on wave three, where are they coming from? I mean, we're definitely surviving much better this match than we did before, which is great. Okay, got those guys out of there. I'm gonna plant a whole, like, cornfield over here. Whoa, big guy coming this way. Big color. Oh, he's just a large size wise. Okay. Now it's over there. Alright, doing good. Our tower defense stuff is doing great. There is a health potion here if anybody needs it. Although, I mean, if the green bar is by our characters or our health, we're doing just fine. Who got to our mining rig? Excuse you. I don't see anybody here. Get out of here. These fools down here. I helped out all my buddies. I'm also gonna do that. I kind of wish that her secondary ability, instead of firing the fireball to make the popcorn, was what was what my uh, my number three ability is, which is like pop everything around me. I wish there was an easier way to spam that, because that's great. Why is it saying the mining rig is under attack? No one's even near the mining rig. Alright, this is a little intense. Oh yeah. I have a feeling LFP Gaming is on the dev team. <laughs> mining rig under attack? How? Wave four or five complete. Can we do it? Can we finish the fifth wave? Ah, he's upgraded the towers. Oh, I didn't even know. You're absolutely right. I can upgrade my corn stuff. Upgrade is X. Uh, repair or delete. I'm going to try to upgrade as many as I can. I really want your character to have licenses to play on the background while playing on the Ha 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 ha. Now these aren't my turrets. These are my turrets. So I can upgrade those. Alright, definitely easier now that I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Do 
dudes over here. I'm gonna come up here and make popcorn all around me. See what else I can upgrade. My poison aura thingers. Let's upgrade those. That one's mine. Upgrade that. Oh yeah, those upgraded walls are great. get over there really to attack them unfortunately I'm going to put lots of corn there I'm defending with corn mm-hmm okay here's some more guys oh man big fellas more popcorn yeah three star bad guys who is hurting the mining rig? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can make that popcorn pop from here. Uh, I need to aim it a little differently. There you go. Got it. Popcorn right in here. Whoa, look at that big guy. Hello, mini boss. Okay, I tried popping popcorn on him. I am actually going to ult and defend all my friends and stuff. Putting corn Whoa. there. And then Who's taking that? him out. The big, the, he's the big boss guy. I'm trying to take him down. Get away! Yeah! Got him. Okay. All right. We got some experience returning to the lobby. Folks, this has been, thank you for the GGs. This has been Spark Defense. Thank you so much um, to everybody that joined in to play today. If you want to check it out for yourself, please do so via the link that's in chat. Every click of that link helps out the channel. And thank you so much to Life Force Games for partnering with the channel for this feature today. You're amazing and I appreciate you. So, folks, there it is. Spark Defense, while very well received, did not achieve an official gong show win today. So, it gets an honorary gong show gong in your honor. <coughs> Boom. Life Force Games, thank you again for partnering with the channel for this feature today. Congrats on your alpha for people to be able to play. It's a lot of fun. And again, folks, that is a MOBA meets tower defense with hero-driven gameplay. Uh, Mizell, or Maisel, Corn Maze, Maisel uh, is my favorite of the day. Paladin said, that was really fun once I figured out what was going on. Yes. Uh, hopefully when it's in its final form, it'll have a, a fleshed out tutorial that lets you uh, know how things are going. For right now, it does have that disclaimer and right up on the side. Be sure to check it out. Huzzah! All right. We do have one more game to feature in today's Indie Game Showcase. And that game is called Awkward 2. So if you're wondering why I titled this stream the way that I did, it is because of Awkward 2, the game that we're going to play today. Now, this is a party game where you get asked awkward questions. I am told that there is a Twitch mode so that you guys can play along with, which I'm excited about. I'm excited about that. Let me just change over our graphics quickly to make things a little more awkward in here. Okay. Okay, here we go. It says the party game of Savage Secrets is how awkward is described. All right, we're going to uh, adjust for brightness. That seems okay. Oh, very loud. All right, so uh, Awkward 2 is made by Snap Finger, uh, Snap Finger Click. It's supposed to come out Q2 of this year, and it's been described as Jackbox meets Cards Against Humanity. I do want to give a warning to anyone who might be watching with little kids right now. Certain questions in the game will reference things like sex, drugs, and alcohol, so be forewarned. I don't know what the official ESRB rating is, but here it says their warning is a devilishly simple yet deviously wicked game. 
Once a tabletop game that originated in the late 1800s, it was controversial and banned for over 100 years. The wildly popular Awkward was cited as the main cause for a rise in barroom brawls and requests for divorce. In 2018, this forbidden pastime was rediscovered along with its wretched keeper, a soul-collecting demigod named Wick. The stories of Awkward are becoming increasingly strange and sinister, where brave survivors tell tales of being trapped in Wick's lair. Whoever plays this game becomes a pawn in his unique social experiment. Only those truly worthy will escape. Proceed carefully. I understand. Um, so yes, this is the adult multiplayer party game filled with dark, hilarious, and sometimes downright disturbing questions. Laugh, debate, defend, and find out things you never wanted to know about your friends. It does have a free demo on Steam, by the way, right now, if you want to check it out. Start the preview edition, which is what we're looking at right now. Ridian says, whoa, even more reasons for divorce than overcooked? I mean, we'll have to find out, I guess. It's on. We're playing. Is that like a Zoltar machine? Taylor Play Awkward 2. Settings. English. Timer length. Let's do long because we're streaming. Best friend. Players score based on how their friends answered. Okay. Key players, how many can join the game? Eight. That all sounds fine. Uh, connect to Twitch. Enter the channel name. Let's see if it lets us do it. Connecting the channel. Okay. Twitch mode should be enabled. Um, it says that Twitch mode... Here we go. Twitch enabled to play with your viewers on Twitch. Twitch mode is enabled. Room code is enabled. Uh, but... Now, we're going to disable the room code. No, we'll, we're, we'll enable the room code so that you guys can see it as well. Controller to advance. What does that mean? When enabled, only the game controller can be used to start and advance the game. Yeah, let's do that. Chatbot posts messages into Twitch channel. I've got that enabled. Emotes. Viewers can send emotes during Twitch mode when enabled. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do. Oh, it's locked. All right, it's locked right now. Great. Uh, Twitch login required when enabled. Players must log into Twitch to join a game. Uh, that, I, I mean, that is also locked right now. Okay. But I'm like, y'all are logged into Twitch anyway, so that should be fine. Audio visual. We do have subtitles on. Looks good. Okay, I think that should be fun. I'm gonna escape out. I don't know why when we went on Twitch mode it uh, made the screen a lot smaller, but it did. We'll have to see when we're in game if it does that as well. Egg of. Are you here for a game? It's smack talking us, but it's very quiet, so I'm gonna turn up the smack talking. Uh, play the preview edition. We can't do a custom game yet, but let's just see what our other options would be. Custom game, mailing list, or Discord. Play the preview edition. Okay. Uh, so here's how you guys play, by the way. Go to preview.awks.wtf. So prev.awks.wtf on your phone and then enter the room code AAAB. AAAB. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can like keep it in stream mode so I can play with you guys but not have that big webcam window there. I don't need that big webcam window. I got my own stream set up, but dang. All right, Adam Vision is in. Get in, Adam Vision. Well, voting's not up yet. You're right. I could put voting up yet, but we haven't really seen the game yet. But anyway, that's okay. Adam, Nate, are you going to join? Oh, Nate's, not, Nate's not getting awkward with us today, but Adam will. Come on. Join us. Come on. Room code again. A-A-A-B. Hey, Chris Britson. Get yourself at home. Ugh. What the cat dragged in. Got some more friends joining. Why did you? You know what I could do? Let me just. I'm gonna. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't want that. Look at you uh, out let here, me ready to kick some ass. Move my whole webcam group down to here. 
sorry, it'll look like I'm looking in the corner, but then hopefully it won't be covering a portion of the screen at least. Welcome. So that's how Welcome. we'll do it for right now. We've been expecting you. Oh, and you can play via PC as well. So you don't need to play on the phone if you're watching on PC, unless you need to enter by pushing something on your phone. But I guess you could just click it. All right, we got Max, real name, Catnip, Forlorn, Crispin, Adam Vision, Buffalo Chicken Guy, Boom Bubble, and Ridian. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome, welcome. This is awkward too. I'm Omis, and I'm already annoyed that I have to talk to you. This game's famous for starting arguments and ending friendships. Oh, good. Which won't be a problem. Now you've got to make a choice. Look around the room. Whose drooling mug do you want as your best friend? You have to pick one. No quitsies. Who do I want to be my best friend today? Well, I'm going to pick Adam if I can. Hey. Okay. Oh, maybe I can't. How do I pick the people? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get. Choose the person who I think knows me best. Right. I don't know, Ridian. Can I'm trying to click, but it's not yeah. letting me click. So Max, real name. I guess that's you and me. You've just made a contract with your new best friend. Every time I ask a question about you, it's your best friend who will be scoring or not scoring you points. Those are the rules, and if you don't like it, you can lick my hairy strap on. Wow, ma'am. What's your number? Drum roll, please, as the first victim is revealed. Okay, let's see this questionable question. There's nowhere to hide, so you might as well tell us. Catnip, in miles per hour, what's the fastest you've ever driven a car? Play along by typing a number into the chat. Or if you don't think this question will apply, Type N-A. So I just type it into chat? Where? Do I need to be on my phone? Am I not playing? I think I'm not playing. I'm just, I'm just watching, I guess. Here we go again. Is anybody close? How well do y'all know each other? The not applicable option? You best make sure you don't miss. Chris says you must be playing. Does it show me as playing on your game? How do I feel about you? Mostly I just feel sorry for you. Reveal the question. If you enter a lie, you're only lying to yourself. Uh, Max, real name, how many days could you go without internet access before you couldn't stand it anymore? Yeah, I guess in streamer mode, the streamer can't play. Everyone has to join on a device. I see. I'll get in on the next game. What did you all think? I couldn't go more than a few days without internet access, personally. What's the answer you were trying to match? Oh. Hot damn! A perfect match. Time for another sacrifice. You have to see this question. I'm actually obsessed. I Boom bubble. On average, how many times a day do you yeah. think you use a curse word? This round works. Yeah, my personal answer would be maybe zero to one. I don't know. I saved my curse words for when they're really needed. Let's take a look at what you guessed. 28,055 that wow whoever worked on this game curses a lot clearly one of you is having trouble grasping the rules of this I see hilarious who's ready for some crippling emotional pain let's see the question maybe you'll know this one better 
Forlorn, on a scale of 0 to 100, how right-wing are you? Oh, okay, now we're getting into politics. Something you should not discuss with your friends. Unless you're already aware that your friends are already on the same page as you. No comment, says Rob. All right, I think next game I'm gonna turn off the best friends mode and then I'll be sure to join on the next one. Yeah, best friends seems to be for in person, probably for Lorne Knight. This would have been fun back in the source fed days, I agree. Ridian, did you drop out? Are you still in, my friend? What was best friends mode? Said that you have to pick one best friend and then the person who decides if you get points is just your best friend or something like that. Time to see what everyone predicted. I feel a bit queasy. Let's see the terrible truth. I like how it's like the terrible yeah, truth. Answers. Good job, folks. So far, I feel like the questions haven't been that awkward. Time to put another head on the chopping block. Gird your loins. It's time for the question. Do you live for moments like these? <laughs> Ridian, how comfortable are you being naked? Meaningless life. Coming from the community where we did the naked truth. I feel like people should be fairly comfortable being nudie duty. Like, what's up with that guy, too? Why is his beard so dirty? Let's see what horror awaits us this time. Survey says... Whoops, wrong game. Sorry. The answer is... Adam says, oh crap, it just occurred to me we're trying to guess what the one user's thing was. Right, like they're putting what their reality is and then we're trying to guess what they put. Which works a lot better when you all know each other super well. So I don't know if like the Paris, I, I don't know if the like best friends mode is what screwed us. We'll see on the next one. Gross. Time to give me an answer and some guesses. If someone offered you one million dollars, Adam, for every finger you cut off your hand, how many would you lop off? Oh man, but then you couldn't develop games. Uh, a million for every finger? Nate, Nate's, Nate, Nate would keep his fingers. Nate also likes to play guitar. Adam says, good night. Two, two fingers. Is that thoughts? what you're going with? That's the best offer you're gonna get. One finger. I think Adam said one finger. Did we come close to a match? Shoto Drag says, "Take my pinkies." I like you people. You have the drive and spark of a much more successful. Oh, two. Adam said two fingers. And relax. <laughs> I want you to think of me as your host. I want you to see me as your companion on this journey. Who can get you thrown out of here if you piss me off? So for the people that have been typing into chat, you've been getting, it looks like, Twitch viewer points. There's a Twitch viewer leaderboard as well as the points that you see here. Like Rob, you've got 700 points in chat. Irritable, you have 500 points in chat. The spotlight. Someone needs to begin, so let's see who gets the first question. Guess what Ridian thinks by typing A or B into the chat. I'm going to play in chat. Although, I feel nothing's ever simple with you humans. Ridian, who would make more money selling pictures of their feet? Ridian or Boom Bubble? I don't know. I don't know what everybody's feet looks like. That's what everybody else does. Okay, a half and half split. Wow, you are like so totally random. 
Yeah, this would have been great for like the source fedies where everybody knows each other really well. Flaws that would have been people. funny. It's time for a new target. Boom bubble. Have to choose what do you think is more likely to wipe out humanity? Nuclear war or climate change? Oh, rough. What a sad question. So sad. Unleash the drama. <laughs> Pretty split in the Twitch, the Twitch answers. Lots of people think climate change will take us out before nuclear war. Try to be better friends, okay? This guy is unnerving. This old guy. Two question. Resistance is futile. Okay, Max real name. Who would you rather date? Someone with the same first name as my parent or someone with the same first name as my sibling? Uh, I, for me personally, I think sibling would be less weird than parent. My sister's name is Shauna. This is where the tragic happens. I don't know, they'd both be awkward, I guess, but. So many right answers. I hardly noticed the wrong ones. The right and wrong answers don't make sense. Like, her smack talking, though, is a little off because it's not like we're answering trivia text? with an objective answer. Buffalo oh, chicken okay, guy. Nice with these questions. What do you think? Uh, do you think it's acceptable to have photos with your ex in them on display in your house? Uh, well, I mean, I guess that would be, depend on how comfortable your current partner is with that. Sad cringe incoming. <laughs> Everybody says no. We don't have any photos with the exes on the bright side, in our house, do we? Yeah, that'd be hard. If you had kids with your ex and there were, like, kids in the picture, that'd Which be hard. Which is up next? My thought was like if you had an ex that you only dated for a little bit, but then you were stayed really good friends or something like that, because some people have that. All right, Chris Britt, what would be harder to do if you found out your partner was having an affair? Confront them about it or ignore it and carry on as normal? Oh, ignore it and carry on as normal. I think would be way harder. If you haven't put an acceptable answer, I'll be dishing out a cruel. Dorcas, that's what Magic Eraser on a Pixel phone's for. <laughs> Oh, split! Wow. Rest. You know who you are. Also, don't forget to vote in the Gong Show. Yes. Killed on the spear of truth. Catnip, what would you rather do? Not change my sheets for a year, or not change my underwear for a week? Ew! That's an awful question. I mean, I guess if I had to choose between the two, I would not change my sheets, but <laughs> gross. Gross, 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 gross. Magic shame on standby. Woof. That was a real bukkake of answers. What is that commentary, ma'am? Don't hold your breath. Because you could clean yourself every day with baby wipes? Yeah, but your undie pants wouldn't be clean. I don't know. I guess if you got really clean before every time you got in bed, maybe. Gut reaction. Enough. Let's find out who we'll be focusing in on for this question. Look at your device and you'll see a statement. Keep it to yourself. Now pick three emojis that the statement makes you feel. Okay, Boom Bubble Paw, look at the statement on your device and respond with three emojis. This is a weird one. Oh, it looks like Awkward 2 was a gong show winner, by the way, already. Congratulations to Snap Finger Click. I'm sorry I missed it. With everything going on. Let's take a peek at the three emojis they picked. All right. You put, hmm, eyebrow, meh, emojis. 
Were you reacting to a quickie on your lunch break? Flirting in a job interview? Anxiety dream that you have a school test in the morning or losing the TV remote? Uh... Uh, yeah, I think losing the TV remote. I was between that and flirting in a job interview. Because you're like, hmm, where could it be? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. And then, well, that's a bummer. Could be losing the TV remote. Or it could be flirting in a job review. Maybe if she's the right, no, it's probably not okay. Probably shouldn't do it. Okay, split between B and D. You're not sitting on a jury with this Boom guy. Bubble Pot was indeed losing the TV remote. Good to know. <laughs> Kamalisk says Twitch Let's mode for this would be more interesting if it was just answer the questions the about the host and, and probably more awkward. That's yeah, honestly what I was anticipating. Than using three eggplants. But I guess the Twitch mode for this could be if, like, say this was back in the SourceFed days. If all the SourceFed hosts were playing together and then the Twitch mode was just Twitch guessing along with us. So really, I think this would be good for ensemble channels. If you watch, like, a Rooster Teeth or Smosh or something like that, ensemble channels where all of your players are people that are on camera that you know... Um, that would work a lot better, probably. <coughs> All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and start our ultimate gong show poll for the day while you guys, Catnip's doing some emoji stuff. But the ultimate, who is, what is the ultimate? Name is the ultimate gong show winner for the day. Is it? Ejected uh, Rivals that we saw earlier today from Pow Wow Entertainment and THQ Nordic was not a gong show winner, but did look pretty cool. Uh, Mia and the Dragon Princess was a gong show winner today from Wales Interactive. It says Mia and the Dragon Prince because I couldn't fit everything. But uh, that was a live action, uh, it was like an action movie that was interactive with 10 different endings. Uh, Castle of Alchemist, we checked out, launches into early access tomorrow. It's a tower defense meets action game that I was not very good at. Uh, but that was not a gong show winner today, so it doesn't make the final vote. Bare Butt Boxing, the absolutely chaotic, uh, ragdoll physics multiplayer brawler, was a gong show winner today from Tuatar Games. That's going to make the voting Spark Defense, developed and published by Life Force Games, was a MOBA meets tower defense with hero-driven gameplay, while very well received, did not ultimately get the win, and so got an honorary gong show gong and does not make the poll. And then our final game, Awkward 2, which we're playing right now, has been declared a gong show winner by you guys, so that's going to make the final poll. Catnip must be Trisha. Catnip is not Trisha. I think Catnip got dropped. Mm, Catnip says it's not letting me open the emoji menu or type anything in. Womp womp. Uh, all right, I'm going to do three minutes on the poll for the ultimate gong show winner of the day. If you don't see it at the top of chat, you should be able to see it soon. F's in chat for poor Catnip getting disconnected. Or Catnip, see if you can refresh the page and re-put in A-A-A-B. Forlorn says, I think mine froze too. The little oh, eye in the pocket watch stopped moving. Damn answer already. Nope. In Jackbox, if you get disconnected, Fine. you can just refresh the page and re-put in the room code and that seems to work. Wants to participate. Get All right, fives, move out of the way. Get booped indeed. Taking the floor now. I just slid into your DMs. Chris <laughs> Britt, look at the statement Send on your device and respond emojis. with three emojis. Okay, Chris the Brick gives us a thumbs up in chat. Adam says, what's the deal with this old dude the whole time? I don't know. Or the, like, corpses just randomly impaled on the stage. 
And I think there's like a lot of dead people in the theater just watching those corpses. I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure. Checking in with the voting. So far, Bearbutt Boxing has 48% of the vote, with Mia and the Dragon Prince close behind. Is it working? Chris Britt, are you able to get yours in? Did you put in your emojis? Dante says, is it working or do we all have to rejoin? I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you're seeing on your end because I'm not in the game. Oh, Chris the Brit says, I don't understand how to open the emote menu. So this is the problem, I guess, with playing on PC. Um, someone put it in chat. Chris the Brit said for Windows, you press the Windows uh, plus key to open the emoji keyboard. Or you can use the website copy-paste emoji. Copy paste emoji.com, I think is it. Windows key and period, says Adam. I didn't even know Windows had its own emoji keyboard, honestly. Yeah, Windows, uh, Windows key and period opens the emoji keyboard. Who knew? <laughs> you learn new things every day, y'all. Adam knew. Mia and the Dragon Princess pulling in the lead at the very end of the voting. Holy cannoli! Mia and the Dragon Princess is officially our gong show winner for the day. By one vote, Bare Butt Boxing time. lost it. Is this any easier than last time? All right, here we go. Chris Bitt, uh, smile, ha ha ha. Meeting your partner's ex, stealing candy from a baby, an afternoon nap, or disturbing a wasp's nest. I'm guessing you're going to say stealing candy from a baby because, I mean, if it's a baby, they can't eat that candy anyway. If it's a little kid, maybe they can. Stealing candy from, like, a five-year-old would be so much worse. Stealing candy from a baby, what are they going to do with that? You're acting like every Halloween we don't take Logan's candy. Shh. It's because he gets enough candy for, like, 25 five-year-olds. He it's can't possibly stealing. eat all that. It is still stealing. Nate's straight up calling me out in this room for eating People Logan's Halloween candy. And Easter candy. And it was disturbing a wasp's nest was the actual thing. We were all totally wrong. Dorcas says that's the parent tax. It's not stealing. <laughs> Will I ever meet a human that doesn't make me want to stab myself in both eyes? I want you to bring out your inner Gen Z. Uh, okay, look at this statement on your device. Respond with three emojis, Max real name. Yeah, how else can an adult get candy on Halloween without stealing it? I'm with you, my face. I mean, without the parent tax, who's going to walk you around to do all that trick-or-treating? Just saying. Just saying. All right, huge congrats again, by the way, to Mia and the Dragon Princess from Wales Interactive, Dead Pixel Productions, and Good Gate Media on your gong show win today. And thank you everybody for voting. Uh, just a reminder, if you did want to find out what happens in the rest of Mia and the Dragon Princess, <laughs> You can currently play it, it just came out May 4th, on Windows, Mac, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and iOS and Android. So many different ways to play Mia and the Dragon Princess if you want to check it out. We'll make this our last round, uh, our last thing for Awkward 2. Which statement makes Max real name react like this? Hey Scared, cry, huffy. Energy into doing better on this question, yeah? Is it keto eating, getting stuck in an elevator, uh, not appropriate in a nightclub, or also not appropriate and unsolicited in your inbox. Uh, for me, I, I, I think the answer is D, so I'm going to vote D. Let's see what it was. Max real name, it was keto eating. <laughs> 
All right, that's where we are going to end awkward too. I will say things got a little awkward. Not quite as awkward as I expected because I really did think that, uh, I really, really did think that, let me see if it's going to let me out of the game. Yes, there we go. I really did think it was going to be like, I have to answer awkward questions and you guys have to guess what I'm saying or something like that. But it does make sense that it's a group party game um, and we didn't get a chance to test out not best friends mode. So I don't know how that would have changed it. I tried to answer the questions anyway, just to like play along with y'all. Um, but yes, thank you everybody for tuning in for today's gong show. It was, you know, I, I would say a, a normal length for a gong show today. Um, and again, huge congratulations to Mia and the Dragon Princess. Um, tomorrow, just so everybody knows, uh, tomorrow normally I stream on Wednesday, but I am booked, 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 booked uh, for Amazon tomorrow. So I'm hosting a couple different... Um, a tech stream and then a toy stream tomorrow on Amazon. So I'll make sure to post those in Discord if you want to tune in. Um, the tech stream will be first and it'll be a lot of gaming tech specifically. The whole episode is themed around gaming tech. So like peripherals, headsets, that kind of stuff. Um, and then tomorrow afternoon will be the toy stream that I believe is sponsored by Disney. So there's going to be a lot of like Marvel, Star Wars um, and Lego stuff on there because I've got a Lego build two-thirds done in my living room right now that I'm set to show off tomorrow. So that is tomorrow on Amazon. Um, I was going to try to squeeze in a Twitch stream, but I don't think it's going to work out. I have some other stuff I have to film. Um, but I will. Let me just double check before I commit, but I think I am streaming on Thursday this week on Twitch. No problem. So... Thursday, yes, it'll be a little later in the afternoon, starting around 2.30, but I will be streaming this Thursday at 2.30 Pacific time. So be sure that you can tune in if you're free, and I will see you then. All right, um, join the Discord if you haven't already. That's the easiest way for me to keep in touch with everybody, and I hope you are all well. So take care of yourselves. Thank you again uh, to Ellie and Good to Internet for the raids. You're amazing. STS said, should we pay that raid love forward? And yeah, I think we should. Let's see who we can raid today. Uh, Luxie Games playing some Tears of the Kingdom, but I don't know if I want to see accidental spoilers. So let's raid. Um, uh, everyone's playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> uh, Bajira is playing World of Warcraft. So let's go ahead and, well, it, that's just who Twitch suggested I raid. Let me see. We talked a lot about SourceFed today. Let's see if any of the other SourceFed peeps are streaming at the moment. Uh, 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 Michelle Boyd's just chatting. Ooh, the real guy judge is playing Cult of the Lamb. Uh, Josephine is playing Final Fantasy. So many people playing Tears of the Kingdom. Mm, you know what? We ended with a party game and Fuya's playing Among Us. So let's go ahead and raid Fuya to carry on the party game love. I think that would be nice. All right, raid is started. Please go send Fuya some love on behalf of the Dragon Riders. And I will see you all on Thursday here on Twitch or tomorrow if you're watching on Amazon. Or as soon as this is over if you're in Discord. Okay, bye friends. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.